solve the next problem in the tensor member determine the design tensile strength of a roof truss diagonal 100 by 75 by 6 mm connected to a gusset plate of 8 mm thick by using 5 numbers of M16 bolts in one row. So they ask to find the design strength of a roof truss diagonal having a size of 100 by 75 by 6 mm. This is an unequal angle connected to a gusset plate using 8 mm thickness by using 5 numbers of M16 bolts that means diameter of the bolt is 16 mm number of bolts used is 5 mm in one row as they have given that pitch is pitch and end pitch is end bar edge distance as 40 mm and 35 mm respectively so pitch is given end bar edge distance is also given as 35 mm assume that longer leg is connected to the gusset plate that means shorter leg will be the outstanding one not connected leg also assume that the yield and the ultimate stress of the uh, steel is 250 mega pascal and 410 mega pascal respectively for this problem they did not given the figure based on the given data we have to draw the figure so first i will draw the cross sectional view the gusset plate is there the thickness is not given the size of the angle is given as 100 by 75 by 6 mm so thickness of the angle is 6 mm i have marked longer leg is connected that is why i marked that as vertically i marked as 100 mm for outstanding leg i have marked as 75 mm this is a cross sectional view this is a side elevation if you see the side elevation here i am able to see only one bolt but in that row uh, they have provided 5 number of bolts 5 number of bolts that angle section is connected to a gusset plate so the pitch is given in the problem as 40 mm that is the center to center resistance between the fastener or bolt parallel to the direction of the force here the member is subjected to tensile force the edge and end distance is given as 35 mm center of this fastener is to end as 35 also edge as edge or toe as also 35 mm based on the given data we have to draw this figure okay the diameter of the bolt given is 16 mm we can calculate the diameter of the hole by adding the standard clearance of 2 mm that is obtained from table 19 page number 73 the diameter of the hole is 18 mm from the steel table we can take down the cross sectional area of this angle section 100 by 75 by 6 as 1014 mm squared that is this is an unequal angle section from we have to refer the steel table to get the cross sectional area okay. first we will calculate the design strength due to yielding of the cross section here also we have to calculate the TD value we know that TD is least of TDG, TDN, TDP1, TDP2 first we will calculate the design strength due to yielding of the cross section TDG equal to AG into FY into 1 by gamma M0 okay. as per the class 6.2 page number 30 where gamma M0 equal to 1.1 that is obtained from table 5 page number 30 AG is the grass area that is obtained from the steel table as 1014 FY is the yield strength 250 divided by 1.1 we get the TDG in terms of Newton by dividing 1000 we can get the result in the unit of kilo Newton TDG is 230.45 kilo Newton ok next the next step we can calculate the design strength due to rupture of the critical section here we are dealing with the angle sections to get the TDN value they have given the different formula 0 0.9 ANC into FU by gamma M1 that means a and C means net area of the connected leg beta into A G naught into F Y by gamma M naught A G naught is the grass area of the outstanding leg so in this equation the unknowns are A and C we do not know the value of A and C we have to calculate it and also we do not know the value of beta and we do not know the value of A G naught we have to first we have to calculate all these three values then we can substitute this the TDN equation let me see the codal provision TDN TDN for single angles the rupture strength of the angle connected through a one leg is affected by shear lag 
therefore they have given the different formula tdn as 0.9 anc fu by gamma m1 beta into ag0 by fy by gamma m0 where beta is 1.4 0.076 w by t fy by fu bs by lc less than or equal to fu gamma m0 by fy gamma m1 greater than or equal to 0.7 oh first we will calculate the beta in the beta equations how many unknowns are there what is meant by w w is the outstanding leg width w is the outstanding leg width they also marked this w value in the figure see the figure which is connected by bolts see clearly see that w is the width of the outstanding leg w1 is the distance from this end to center of the hole w1 how we can get the w1 total width minus this uh, edge distance will give the w1 how we can get the bs w plus w1 minus t okay now let me go to the problem okay the formula for beta is 1.4 minus 0.076 w by t where what is mean by w value w is the outstanding leg outstanding leg is how much outstanding leg 75 mm outstanding leg is 75 mm therefore w is uh, 75 mm t is thickness of that member so no issue in that we can substitute fy yield strength we you know 250 fu is the ultimate strength then bs how we can get the bs value bs value is they have given an equation to calculate the bs bs is equal to w plus w1 minus t in our problem w the outstanding leg is 75 mm the connected leg is having a total width of 100 mm with the edge distance of i think how much edge distance given in the problem 35 mm the edge distance the given is 35 mm from this so, so edge distance is 35 mm to the center of the hole to this edge so therefore w1 will be 100 minus 35 clearly 100 minus 35 w1 okay so so we will get the bs equal to w plus w1 minus t w is 75 w1 is 100 minus 35 t is 6 we got the bs equal to 134 okay so now we know the value of bs lc lc is the length of the connections that is between center of the starting fastener to the end fastener so here they have used five bolts how many gaps are there 1 2 3 4 gaps therefore 4 into the pitch distance will give the length of the connections uh, where they have calculated this mm. so length of the connection is 4 into 40 is the pitch okay 160 they wrongly mentioned as of 60 mm that is 160 yeah, mm so lc is also known okay then fu is also known fo is also known gamma m not yeah, gamma m1 the other unknowns are anc and ag not let me see how to calculate the anc net area of the connected leg very carefully we have to calculate listen listen here listen here see the connected leg is 100 mm total width is 100 mm we have to calculate by center to center so at the top we have a edge at the bottom up to the middle we have to consider so that will be 100 minus 6 by 2 that is 6 by 2 is 3 mm that's why that is marked as 97 that width minus also you have to deduct that width of the diameter of the hole hole has 18 that also deducted into thickness 6 gives the anc so 97 minus 18 hole into 6 474 mm square then coming to the gross area the outstanding leg outstanding leg means unconnected leg unconnected leg from the center to edge how much will be there total width is 75 center distance is 6 by 2 so 75 minus 6 by 2 that is 72 into 6 give the ag not so this is the gross area of the outstanding leg in the outstanding leg there is no hole is there therefore we no need to detect any hole width 
but in the connected leg we are having only one hole that is why I have detected as minus 18, 18 is the diameter of the hole, diameter of the volt is 16. So now we know the value of A and C, A G naught, W, B S, everything. First I will calculate the beta value 1.4 1 minus 0 0.076 W by T or what is mean by W, W is 75, W1 sorry uh, w1 is 100 minus 30 we already we calculated this so the what is the formula uh, w by t fy by fu fy is 250 so see 250 by 410 then other term is bs by lc bs bs equal to w plus w1 minus t that value is 134 mm so, B S is 134 divided by L C length of the connection is 160. So, length of the connection is first fastener to last fastener distance. So, 5 volts, 4 gaps, 4 into 40, 160. So, substituting all these values, I got the value as 0 0.915. This should be greater than or equal to 0 0.7, less than or equal to one more time. That is, that is the formula greater than or equal to 0 0.7 less than or equal to Fu into gamma m0 by Fy by gamma m1. That also I have calculated that value is 1.44. So, the calculated value satisfy this condition. It is greater than 0.7 less than 1.44. Okay, it is fine. Now, I got the value of beta. Already I calculated the A and C and A G0. Let me substitute in the TDN equation. TDN equation is 0.9 that is that equation 0 0.9 a and c net area of the connected leg how much 474 so 0 0.9 474 into fu by gamma m gamma m1 1.25 the second term is beta into a g naught a g naught already we calculated fy 250 gamma m naught 1.1 a g naught value what is a g naught value 432 see beta value is also substituted then 432 ag naught fy divided by gamma m naught so multiplying all these three simplifying using the calculator we get the result in terms of newton dividing 1000 we can get the kilo newton as cdn as 229.76 kilo newton so now we completed the tdn calculations so tdg tdn over next is tdp design strength due to block shear sir for this we have two equations tdp1 tdp2 so in these equations how many unknowns are there sir sir the first equation first term i don't know avg the second equation first term i don't know avn so the unknown is avg avn atg atn so gross shear area AVG, AVN net shear area, V mentions for shear, T mentions for tension, ATG means gross tension area, ATN means net tension area. So, first we will see how to get the gross shear area. For gross shear area, length of the shear line, first we have to calculate the length of the shear line into thickness, AVG is length of the shear line into thickness. Gross, that is why capital LS, I used capital LS. How we can get the LS? That is the length of the shear line. Length of the shear line is here, is marked there. Here, the angle section is connected to the gusset plate, it is subject to tensile force. If you mark the tensile force on both the ends, apply a pull. The shear line will be always dash to the applied force. The dash, you can feel the dash, it is parallel. Tension line is always perpendicular to the applied force. So, capital L is involved 1, 2, 3, 4 gaps, 4 pitch plus 1 edge distance. So, pitch is 40 mm, edge distance is 35 mm. So, LS is 195 into thickness. Thickness of the angle has to be used, angle is 6. So, AVG is 1170. Then how we can get the net shear area next net shear area so net shear area means we have to use the net length of the shear line that i have marked as small ls 
how we can get the small l s small l s is equal to capital l s minus how many holes are in, in, involved in the path line failure path line 1 2 3 4 full holes sir 1 half holes that's why i mark as 4.5 times diameter of the hole has to be detected in the total length to obtain the small ls that value is 114 mm that is clearly marked in the figure okay so small ls into thickness will give the avn net shear area that is 684 mm square next gross tension area atg length of the tension line into thickness tension line is lt center of this hole to edge center of this hole to edge sir that is edge distance sir 35 mm sir so therefore capital lt is 35 into 6 is give the 210 mm square then you can calculate the net tension area how we can get the net tension area the gross tension area we have to detect the holes in between the path line here we are having only half of the hole is involved so to get the small lt capital lt minus half of the diameter of the hole okay so 35 minus 0.5 half of into diameter of the hole is 18 into thickness of the angle is 6 we can get the area of atn is 156 mm squared now we have calculated avg avn atg atn once we obtain all these values we can go for the substitutions in the equation tdp1 tdp1 we can substitute the all the values what is with by tdp1 equation let me on second see avg into fy by root 3 gamma i am not avg into fy then atn into fu 0.9 avg see avg avg correct exactly correctly used na avg How much? One one seven zero A V G into F Y by root three gamma. I am not. Point nine into what is meant by one fifty six A T N into four ten divided by gamma M one one point two five. So simplifying this equation, you can get the T D P one value is one ninety nine point five seven. Next one is T D P two for the zero point nine into. What is that equation? Zero point nine into A V N into F U by root three into gamma M one plus A T G into F Y. So the first term we have to use A V N. Second term we have to use A T G. A V N is six eighty four. A T G is two ten. Yes, yeah, see, six eighty four is used in the T D P T equation. Two ten is also used. Okay, gamma. M not 1.1 gamma M1 1.25, so we can calculate the DDP D also 164.30. So TD is the least of TDG, TDN, TDP1, TDP2. That is 164.30. So see the all the values. 164.3 is least one. That will be your tensile strength. TDP1 is higher than this one. TDN is higher than that one. TDG is Two thirty. That is also higher. So the least among these four values is one sixty four point three zero kilonewton. That is your TD. Here the design tensile strength is governed.